patient. And your group for Baltic Swing level three. And we worked on passes overall. And it was to maybe change what we usually do as an on the round turn for a right side pass and like our regular left side pass into like a whole new adventure. It's like how can we challenge ourselves into it? Um, so first it was about changing the point of contact and if so to always maintain a value in the couple. Value can be tension or compression. It's about at least maintaining we don't like each other. It's about maintaining Oh. Because we oh okay I'm close to this sorry I'm gonna move yeah I switch off voila okay so it's about maintaining a value in a couple and be tensional compression on a, we practice on a scale from one to five to at least have a one you know like in the couple there uh, then to actually maintain that and transfer it to a new point. We had three tools, mostly. It was our legs, okay? I can go. Distance. It was about rotation or angle, so how we can also change how I place our, our feet are placed on the floor to create like more value there. And or sometimes these tilt. axing, the axing yourself into sort of a tilt. Those three were for you to either maintain or recreate that value that you just had. Point of contact. We had it like on like both sides and like having like a, just a statue position. And me using either a distance or rotation or tilt to have a value. Maybe and then responsive to it. Changing with how I distance, myself. Maybe a tilt. Maybe boom, a tilt. Change my Same for followers. Then we have an exercise with a statue that is as well, so we start to add like some uh, unpredictability into it. For that followers, we talked if uh, it was you moving, we had movement that was readable from the outside, predictable, so I know where it's going, and measurable in time, so I know what is going to be there. One, two, three, four, for instance. So I can work around it. It would be very hard for me to do one, two, three, four. I cannot really count on that. And then we had it in the right side passes. Either followers you change, um, you choose your challenge level, starting as a statue, going for one, two, three, and the four, five, and the six, and the one, two, three, and the four. Either maintaining the rhythm or for leaders or just putting blocks. Just to practice the switch on the value, we have followers moving through as well. So we one, two, three, and the four. Five and the six and whatever you have here leaders as a value, use it for a new right side pass on the arc slash on the arc. Um something that I didn't say to followers, but um the stress that you might feel on your leader side should not change the trajectory that you kind of set. Because if, for instance, I would do like that same motion here, let's say, and I can feel like a lot of stress from the other side, if I also start to change it, it creates a big bubble of stress. So usually what I'm like, is like, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have that switch, but it's okay, darling, you can deal with it. <laughs> and then continue, it's like calming the couple down. So we just suppose how to work with something that you have. Um, without me say, changing it, I'm talking about the form of how they feel their body. So sometimes instead of trying to switch that, just work with what you have in front. And the second one was how to rebuild, not rebuild, how to build actually trust and understanding in a couple so you can have this comfy bubble with your partner and have this nice calm yeah. feeling of like, no, oh, I can just come right now. <laughs> and last mention when we talked about frame. For us, it was the ability to maintain your integrity and have a body that is responsive to connection where you can send information all the way through. Then wherever you are in your journey, maybe you would need like the most stable frame at first, but then actually this solve this idea that it needs to be a structure, but it needs to be a body consistency and a system understanding, linked together. Good? That's it. Have a nice afternoon.